I thought I'd give you a good overview of Mullion Creek on trail forks because I can't seem to find the trails at the actual location. But if I can find the trails, but they are just overgrown. So I'll give you an overview on the map here. So we'll start off with, with Widowmaker Alley. It's just past the original ridge shortcut just here, which is a, about maybe 200 metres down from the start of the original ridge. It's a fairly hilly track, very up and down, but it's fairly short as well, but it's only a black diamond. Roxane starts just about three quarters of the way down Widowmaker Alley, off to the left, and that's a very quick downhill track with very little climbing at all. It's only a blue. And well done, Gertrude. Uh, I couldn't seem to find this one when I got to the end of Original Ridge. I thought I found it, but it seems very overgrown, and I don't particularly want to sort of go risking and getting lost in there. So if you do end up finding it yourself, then what you can do to look at this is it's a very hilly track. It's a, a very, very pedally track. If you're going to come out to Million Creek, bring an e-bike because it'll be well, worthwhile. And thank you, Mavis. I thought I found the. I thought I found, it, but I'm not entirely sure because when I rode the track, it sent to take me off in a different direction. So if you do end up finding the correct trail, then it's a very short track. It's a very steep track though because it's a, it's got. 108 meters of descent in only 543 meters of distance to be a very steep gradient on the way down and that's the same with buckle up dorothy because it has 205 meters of descent and 1.1 kilometers of distance so if you sort of do the maths i'm not the math best math person but it's a very steep trail and going over the trail conditions Widowmaker Alley is a bit of a... It's a fire road, but it's supposedly a bike track as well, according to Trail Forks. It's a very wide, open trail. You can... if When you go to the start, the, the first top of the hill, you can see straight down. It's a very clear, urban track, supposedly. I don't know about Roxane, because I haven't actually gone to the, the track, so I don't know the trail conditions of it. Well done, Gertrude. Seems a bit overgrown and a bit um, worse for wear, but... That's from what I could see. I'm not too sure if I was looking at the correct track or not. Original Ridge is very open. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a very clear, fast, well done, well ridden track. It's a very long track and the climb back to the start is, is a bit brutal if you're on a pedal bike. Mad Mullion, once you get past the first few meters of track, it's fairly open and it's very steep and rocky. So just take your time going down there. Direct to consumer, very open as well. That's a very good track as well. Finding Spinal Tap is a bit difficult, but once you once you do find it at the very start of the track, it's a bit it's a climb to the top. But once you get to the top of the trail and go on your way down, so it's a fairly open track as well. The Water Race Walking Track is supposed it's named a walking track, so I'm not entirely sure what it's with the riding of bikes and not walking. I'm not too sure what that would be. Buckle up Dorothy, uh, I think I found it, and I wouldn't recommend riding it. It's very overgrown, full of sticks, so it's pretty much a no-go. But if you do end up going for a ride, just take your time and be careful. Uh, thank you, Mavis. Uh, I can't vouch for the conditions because I couldn't seem to find it. Uh, but from the track that I did find, it's a, it's a fairly open track, but it is um, considerably rocky. So again, just take your time going down there. So that's all of Mullion Creek. Uh, the videos that I d did film, uh, there'll be a link in the description for that one. And just briefly, Jack's track is closed. That's locked. So that's, just don't go 